Back in uh, 2000 guys, uh, Nelly was bringing this uh, Air Force One in the spotlight where he was wearing them in most of his videos and since then uh, this uh, Air Force One uh, became one of the most sold uh, pairs of uh, Nikes in the world and throughout all of this year guys we had a lot of uh, new releases which brought us uh, new materials, new color blockings of course we also had some uh, collaboration as the one uh, which just dropped uh, in the last few weeks and I'm referring to the one uh, with Drake but even if we don't have those collaboration guys uh, the Nike Air Force One it's uh, still dropping every few weeks a new version guys and welcome back for a brand new review if you are new to the channel please make sure you're gonna subscribe you can also give me a follow on instagram to see exactly what i'm gonna review in the next few days in today's video guys we're gonna have a look at one of these latest releases for the air force one so let's go ahead and take them out of the box which as you can see will come in your usual box which will be this very dark gray color which will just have the nike air force one here on the top so let's go ahead and take them out so in today's video guys, uh, we're gonna have a look at this uh, Air Force One LV8. This one guys got dropped at least here in the UK in the last couple of weeks for the same retail price of £115 which we're gonna have it for most of the Air Forces one and this one will have mainly the same material as we always get in the Air Force one which is not gonna be the greatest one but unless you choose to go and customize it on Nike by you we won't actually get two good materials for the Air Force one range but when it comes to a white pair of Air Forces one guys, I need to admit that these ones are always looking good. And as this one will have this royal blue elements throughout, I feel that this one is one of the best releases, at least in my opinion, for 2022. So let's go ahead and also do a breakdown of this one. So as you can see for the upper guys, we're gonna have this thermal leather in this white color. So starting here at the front guys, we're gonna have your normal perforation holes on top of this toggle section which in my opinion they are quite big so most definitely this one will be quite breathable but as you can see on the lateral side guys we're gonna have this uh, Nike swoosh in this uh, royal blue color which in my opinion is looking quite good of course we're also gonna have another one here at the bottom of the lacing system which will be much uh, smaller as we uh, go uh, to the actual lacing system guys we're gonna have your normal punch out holes which will keep in place these white uh, flat laces and underneath these laces guys we're gonna have this uh, nylon tongue which actually has a good amount of padding and for this one guys you can see that we're gonna have uh, a long uh, tag with the nike air force and a lot of letterings in this uh, royal blue color again but as we go now in the midfoot guys you can see that uh, for this one we're gonna have a new uh, type of uh, swoosh so this one will be a cutout one and as you can see underneath this uh, big nike swoosh we're gonna have a lot of uh, smaller nike swooshes uh, drawn and uh, this uh, whole cutout swoosh guys will actually be uh, reflective so this one in my opinion looks uh, quite nice but I guess it's not gonna be for everyone but going inside we're gonna have your normal white lining which underneath has your normal amount of padding so nothing special 
and also at the bottom we're gonna have this white foam insole which will also have this Nike swoosh and the lettering imprinted here at the heel section but as you go uh, at the back of the shoe guys you can see that uh, just above the heel section we're gonna have a blank uh, material normally here we had that Nike Air and the swoosh uh, engraved this time this one is blank but uh, we're gonna have this uh, big uh, pull tab which will have the Nike swoosh and lettering uh, in this blue color imprinted on it so this one in my opinion it's looking uh, quite nice and now guys we can go to this uh, crispy white uh, rubber outsole which uh, will be also stitched to the shoe as uh, most of the Air Forces one so this one will have your normal uh, pattern so nothing changed here of course on the lateral side of the heel section we're also gonna have written air in this uh, royal blue color again and now guys uh, we can finish with this uh, white rubber outsole which will have uh, the same pattern pattern so nothing changed here so this one will have this uh, circle uh, a pattern uh, at the front and also at the heel section and just between them we're gonna have the Nike swoosh and the Nike lettering as in for the actual sizing guys uh, for me as I have a skinny feet uh, I'm always going with a half size down in the Air Force range and that one fits me just fine but just in case you have normal feet guys you can just uh, stick with your true to size and in case you have wider feet you can just uh, stick with your true to size or even try half size up depending on how wide your feet will be so overall guys uh, this uh, one of the latest uh, releases for this Nike Air Force one in my opinion it's uh, still a clean one which still looks quite good and as I've said at the start of the video this one is one of the best sellers in the world coming from Nike which will just have a classic design so this one you can just mix and match it with a lot of outfits and in my opinion as this one will contain this uh, royal blue elements uh, it makes it uh, look uh, quite good so yeah guys uh, this was my unboxing and reviewing of this uh, air force one lv8 i really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did uh, don't forget to press the like button maybe also subscribe to the channel you can also give me a follow on instagram to see exactly what i'm gonna review in the next few days and as always i will see you in my next one thanks for watching